Hi, welcome to Cooking with Mary's Village Style and welcome to my kitchen. Um, we have uh, Frank Bruno on the camera today. My husband Sal is here. We'll have a few guests floating in as we do these couple of videos that we're working on this morning. I'm really excited today. We're going to cook some salmon um, with an old world recipe that my grandmother uh, used to make, my Nana Mary used to make it. And I've forgotten how delicious it was. Um, um, it's been a long time since I cooked salmon the way that we're going to do it today. And it's very simple, very few ingredients. We're going to use, um, uh, we're going to dust our salmon with flour and then we're going to make an onion mixture to put on top. And our ingredients are going to be red onions, sliced red onions, um, olive oil, uh, oregano, and red wine vinegar and salt and pepper and that's all we're going to use today so let's get started we're going to dust our salmon fillets with some flour just really lightly it's uh, going to be very fast and it also cooks very fast doesn't have to be perfect just very uh, easy very simple no crazy ingredients nothing special that you have to buy or do just um, like you were flour and any kind of fish, but it's been a long time since I actually floured fish. So okay, now we're going to go to the stove. Okay, so we're just going to fry our fish, and I'm frying it on high. And you, you use uh, the canola? I put canola oil inside um, the frying pan can and you heated use, it up. Can you use any vegetable oil? or? I think so. I okay. think you know, whatever you like. But, but you don't use olive oil? No, um, no, I don't use olive oil because it'll burn real fast. Okay. So Even though this is going to cook really fast, I don't want to use olive oil on this. It. And there's going to be plenty of olive oil in this dish when we do the onions. Mm -hmm. So, but right now we're just trying to fry the fish. And again, do you use sea salt? Yeah, I'm using this salt that I get at um, a big lot, and it's called So Salt. And it's from Tropani, which is right next door to Isla Della Femini. So I use that. I like it. It has a, a fresh taste to it. It's good. You know, I'm very inexpensive. So um, the salmon will be cooked in a few minutes. And I don't know if you can even see this, but it's turning pink on the bottom half. It looks beautiful. Can you see? I don't know if you can see yep. that on the camera. Uh -huh. But it looks really beautiful. You know, and usually I broil it, and I broil it to death. You know, it's real dry when I get done with it, and I don't really know what to do with it unless you kind of bake it and kind of stew it a little bit, you know, kind of steam it. But um, like this, it's delicious, and it's a, for me, it's like a lost recipe because we stopped frying fish years ago. You know, oh no, it has too many calories. Well, it's still, you know, no matter what you do to it, it's going to have calories to it. So, um... Um, I think this is um, a, a lot, what I would call a lost recipe, at least for me it was. So you're going to flip it when the side of it gets uh, how far up? Well, I'm going to flip it when it's about halfway cooked, you can see that. There's yeah. a light pink on the bottom and a more vibrant pink on the top. So as soon as the bottom is crusted golden brown, um, that's when I'm going to flip it and I'll, I'll show it to you. Now it's only been in there for a couple minutes. and the. Back side of it is gorgeous, yes. you know, and you don't get that when you broil a piece of fish. Mm -hmm. Maybe that one was there too long, I don't know. But here it is, and what is it taking, you know, like what, two minutes? Yeah. Maybe three minutes on one side. I don't think we no, even... No, it was two minutes. Two minutes, very, very, very fast. So um, then a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to put it on this platter and we're going to make our onions. And um, I'm doing it on high and my, my pan is kind of smoking a little bit. And again, you use but, a iron skillet versus a yeah, frying pan. Yeah, you know why? And my grandmother used to use the cast iron skillet. Mm -hmm. And you can see why, because the color that you're getting from the frying in this pan is a lot, uh, it's a lot hotter than if you used a stainless steel pan or... Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what do you call it? The coated pans, of, mm -hmm. you know, Definitely. the non-stick. Yeah. yeah. So now, when I look at this piece of fish, you can actually see that it's light pink all the way through, from top to bottom. 
so um, I wanted to get just a teeny bit brown on the other side, a little teeny bit more. So I would say two minutes on each side, and your piece of fish is cooked, and it'll be moist and delicious on the inside. That's when I get in trouble, my wife tells me that. My fish has been cooked. Your so, fish is cooked? Yeah, so I'm familiar with that phrase. I think it's worse if they say your goose is cooked. My goose is cooked. <laughs> okay, so but now the pan is smoking. Us so. Australians don't eat goose. Yeah. So this is your finished piece of fish. Can't be any prettier than that. Mm. And I think that's a cooked piece of fish. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to put this pan away and start our onions. But you don't use a skillet for this one. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't cook the onions in the frying pan with the fish. Well, um, I'll tell you one of, my, one of my problems, you know, cooking, is that when I have a dark color pan, I can't see what's, in, what's going on oh. with the product that I'm cooking. So anytime I can, I want to use stainless steel. You know, sometimes I use a coated pan, a, you know, a nonstick pan. But for my onions, I want them to come out um, uh, just before they get dark. I, I don't want dark onions on top of my salmon. So I'm gonna, just going to put them in this pan where I can control the color. Got it. So you want you know? to, uh, what do they call it, elusive? Um, I want them translucent. Translucent, yeah. But uh, I want them a little bit just at the caramelized stage, but not past that. Okay. That's a lot of onion. How, how many is that? A couple? Um, no, you know, I think I kind of overdid it, but the thing is, these are going to melt to half. Okay, so it looks like a lot now, but they're going to melt down and you're going to have half of that. And I wanted to have enough onion so that I could create a little bit of a sauce with the olive oil and the vinegar that I'm going to put in here so that it can actually penetrate some of the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that so I want to make sure I have enough. So I think I had, um, it was about three big red onions. I think it was three. And Could you, have been four, but I think it was three. And you'd use red onion versus, because you use a lot of yellow onions sometimes, or white onions, but you use the red well, ones because... They're sweeter, okay. but I don't think my grandmother was discriminatory as far as her onions. I don't remember you know? a, a lot of red onions when we were kids. Yeah, there was it's, one type. It was like a more of a football-shaped red onion, yeah. but I guess they don't make that variety anymore. They don't grow that. They grow these, you, you know, everything we have now is GMO'd, you know, yeah. so, um, so I, my grandma used to make it out of whatever she had, and my grandma had a grocery store, so, you know, we had a lot of variety of different things that maybe other people didn't have, you know, we, we always seem to have a lot, um, so I chose red onions because it's sweeter, and I used to use red onions, you know, to make uh, liver and onions, and, but I think you can use, you know, anything you want. It doesn't have to be red onions, it can be anything. I've used the uh, Walla Wallas, and they seem to be pretty sweet also. Yeah, they are the good. The white ones, yeah. yeah. they're good. And I know it looks like I'm putting a lot of olive oil. Yeah. And I am. I want to have a nice, um, I don't know if you can see that, where there's olive oil in the bottom of the pan. But would, would I want you, to come out with some sauce. Okay. Would you uh, ever cover the pan so it just steam more and get in softer? No? No, not for me. Okay. I, I want it kind of, um, it, it's going to have too much moisture in yeah, there. And yeah. I don't think so. I got you. I think just sauteing them until they saute down is uh, the best way to go. And we're going to have half of this amount. It's just going to kind of melt. And we'll be right back. Enough. Our onions have melted. You can see there isn't much left here. And I've been adding olive oil the whole time because I wanted that little pool of olive oil in the bottom because that's kind of our sauce. So now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And I don't want the onions too dark, but I'm going to cook it just long enough for me to add my ingredients because I think they're perfect. And my next ingredient is red wine vinegar. 
how much is that? You know, I'm that not sure. Up? It's I'm going to lower the, the flame a little bit here. Um, I don't really know, and I can't can't really describe it. Um, I'm adding some Italian oregano. You're going to have to taste it in order to see if it has enough salt and pepper and uh, vinegar. So it's to your taste. Uh, some people may like it stronger, and some people may like it a little bit milder. I, I wish the audience could smell this right now. Smells great, doesn't it? Oh, very good. And talk about an old world lost recipe, for me anyway. Um, so, you know, I, I'm going to put a little bit more vinegar. I would say we're using maybe a quarter to a third of a cup, not more than that. But you can use less if you'd, you know, rather have less. It's your taste. Now I'm going to get you a, I'm going to turn this off and let it sit a little bit, and I'm going to get a spoon for you to taste it. Me? Yeah. Here's a taster. It's hot. Uh, it is hot. Go ahead, you taste it. You taste it. I taste it. <laughs> Am I burning you? <laughs> that was no. Are you um, okay? <laughs> a little bit more vinegar, maybe. Oh, wow. Was you that too it. hot, Frankie? <coughs> it was. Oh, no, it's not hot. No, is it good? A little more vinegar? Or? <laughs> oregano, though. <laughs> <laughs> oregano. I told you. Something. something yeah, that oregano. Is, yeah, it needs a little more vinegar. Okay. I think it's so good. maybe we're up to about a half of a cup now, probably. And I think it needs some salt. So we're good. going to have to season it more, twice as much as, as we thought. Wow. That wasn't there you too go. much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the vinegar, um, the oregano is the kick, huh? That kind of kick. I, you know, I didn't was. burn you, did I? No. <laughs> okay. And then what you do, you just pour that over the, the We're fish? We're going to spoon this over the fish. Oh, wonderful. And you can see how much the onions have melted. Yeah. So I think this was three onions, to tell you the truth. But they were pretty big. And you can see that it's kind of formed a little sauce in the bottom of the pan. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's make it a little, little bit more. Okay, I think we're good. Just gonna let this cook for one minute. That's all. Good, huh? Yeah. Very good. Okay, we're turning it off. So we're cooked. So um, we're going to spoon this right over our, the top of our salmon, along with all the juice. Mm. And I can see now we're going to have way too much for these three pieces of salmon. Freeze it. Uh, I don't think you would freeze <laughs> this. But there it is. And it's got this terrific sauce. Mm. We'll put the rest in a little bowl and when we eat it, we'll, uh, we'll add some. Okay, so we're here um, this afternoon tasting all the recipes we made. Um, we started out by making some salmon with um, uh, onions and um, vinegar and we're going to taste it and everybody's going to get a little bit of it. Well I'll tell you what I'm just right off the bat I'm just going to do this right here. <laughs> no. Look at that. We're going to taste our salmon. It's just like get it all and it's good. And we have a little more of the onions there if you want more onions. Sally you want to give me your plate? Yeah. I think after the salmon, not too much. Later. This is what you guys usually have for dinner, for lunch, right? Yeah, we <laughs> spend the whole morning cooking. Yeah, we're gonna taste it. Yeah. Like my mother used to make. So you call a salmon salamone?
Good, huh? Oh, yeah. Boy, that is a good way to eat uh, salmon, if you ask me. It really is. Boy, the, uh, the onions are sweet. Sweet as could be. You can That's get that natural good. sugar out of that. Add a little bit of tang. Very mm -hmm. good. That's very good.